What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Slightly Warped Podcast. I'm Rick, joined as always by Big Show. How are you, Show? I am. I'm, I'm okay for the most part. It's Tuesday. I'm I'm all right. That's good to hear. Um, for everybody that uh, is new to the podcast, first question: Where the hell you been? Uh, second question. Uh, if you haven't already heard, we are uh, going through Game of Thrones Season 8. We're doing Episode 4 today. And um, afterwards, uh, I want to just really, really briefly talk some NFL and uh, a couple other questions that I have for Big Show. So, without further delay... Let's go ahead and start off with, I believe this episode was called The Last of the Starks. Yes. Now, I know, I'm just going to get this out of the way here. Last week's episode, episode um, three, was one of the more exciting episodes to me. This episode. Action-wise. Yeah, action-wise. This one was kind of boring. I disagree. Okay, and, and we'll get to that. I mean, it was probably because of the hype from, you know, you're all hyped up from the previous episode. Then you go to, you know, a more subdued episode. I I wouldn't say it sucks, but it was more subdued. It, it does open up with uh, Jorah. His body is uh, uh, on the um, pyre. And um, Daenerys uh, actually bends down kisses his forehead and then she says something that you don't hear on screen uh you assume it's i loved you too or something like that you know no nah, what she said is i should have fucking killed you in season six when you betrayed me you bastard or something like that that's what she said but nobody really know you know they couldn't really you know it'd be kind of defeating the purpose of her crying she was just yeah. mad she didn't get to kill him Th there you go they <laughs> did all the work for me yeah <laughs> um then then we go to Sansa who is kind of like weeping over um Theon. Uh, Theon, thank you. That one to a lesser extent I didn't really get it. I mean Why not? He did try to kill her brothers, but he saved her. Yeah. He rescued her from Ramsay Bolton. That is also true. And then gave his life to protect her brother, who he betrayed at the very beginning of the series. Yeah. To make amends. So so he did go full circle. So I'll give yeah. him that. Um, what are the, some of the standouts of this episode to you? I, mean, I like it just because um, it was the aftermath of what they all went through so you're you're seeing their their grief of their fallen compadres the funeral portion of it um you know and then they go into the hall and have their uh repast <laughs> so to speak um you know and they try to lighten up the mood you know with danny making gingery uh, Lord of uh, Storm's End, I think it is. So the Baratheon land is back in the Baratheon name. Um, okay, so Danny did that. I thought I thought Sansa did that. No, nah, Sansa doesn't have that power. Danny does because she's the quote unquote queen, and she did that because it's a great ally to have. You know, if you're trying to get the the throne, of course. Yeah. Um, you know, and then you have the little tiff between uh John and Daenerys, you know, because he needs to tell Sansanaria that he's actually Aegon uh Targaryen. Um, Danny's upset because she just wants it to be like it was, you know, she wants to she wants to bang her little nephew and let nobody think about it. Um but she doesn't want – she realizes that the, the, the threat that he holds on her throne, she, she's losing control over it. Yeah. 
and uh, she can sense that Aya and Sansa have a lot of control over him. Not over him, but uh, control influence. may not be the word. Influence. influence. There you go. A lot of influence uh, over over him. And then, uh, you know, the, sh the shows move on and you can see that uh, the troop. Oh, before we go any further, you know, uh, Brianna Tars finally got boned by Jamie. You know, she finally got her cherry popped at the bright age of 45. Yeah. Um, well, big applause for her. Go, Brianne, go. <laughs> right. Uh, she got it with a one arm do or one handed guy. Uh, hey, that other hand is gold, though. <laughs> True that. <laughs> True that. Uh, so she, you know, she, she obviously is in love with him. Always has been. I mean, that's part of the show. Um, you know, and then you see Tyrion and and uh, Varys talking about because Sansa told Tyrion about uh, John being a Targaryen. You know, John T uh, Tyrion mentions that to Varys. They have one conversation about it. Um, Tyrion's idea is to marry them. Um, Viris basically said, "Is she going to allow John to rule with her? It doesn't look like she wants to share the throne." Yeah. Tyrion's yeah. point is, Tyrion's point is that John can quelch that fire side of her that she has, where she's quick to to anger, and you know she can basically balance. They would balance each other out because John is very passive and but, uh uh was steady in his thinking the way he reacts let's stop let's stop there for a second because they mentioned that that's that targaryen in her right the the blood of the dragon yes yeah how come john doesn't have that kind of like he's not full he's not full-blooded targaryen okay okay that makes more sense then um, he 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 does have Stark blood in him because Lyanna Stark is his mother. Yeah. Uh, but Rhaegar Targaryen is his father. Um, but you have seen moments where John is quick to anger. You've seen that throughout the entire series, so he has it. He's just more of a well balanced individual. Yes. Um, and then, you know, you see the, the troops taken off towards the capital, King's Landing. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it moves to, uh, Aya and the Hound, they're on a, they're on their horses heading towards King's Landing, both with unfinished business. I think the Hound wants to take on the mountain and obviously Aya wants to cut Cersei in half. Um... True. Let's see what else happens. The the Wadlings, uh, Giant's Bane, he goes back to the north with his Wadlings. He tells John goodbye. And then you, it basically goes to the ship, and you see Danny and her other, you know, on top of Drogon. And I forget which dragon's still alive. Um, and then they run into the, to the Iron Fleet, the ships, and her other dragon is killed. Um, again, she's talked into, well, <clears throat> before all that, dragons killed and then they turn the arrows onto the ships and sink her ships. So everybody's swimming ashore, basically. Mm -hmm. So you see Tyrion and everybody on the beach. And then, uh, Masande, uh, she's missing. Um, and then you see... Varys and uh, Tyrion inside uh, Dragonstone, I think, is where they were, were on their on the beach, is where they washed up at. And basically, Varys was saying, you know, we have to kill Daenerys and put Jon in the throne. And Ty Tyrion is basically telling them that's treason. And Varys said, well, you know, you thought about it. And Tyrion said, yeah, thinking about it's not treason. <laughs> Talking about it's actually treason. And you can tell that Tyrion um, is about to uh, basically tell on Varys. You know that's coming just because of the way of their conversation. Yeah. 
And then, you know, they have a meeting about what happened that, you know, so-and-so's uh, missing and all that stuff. And uh, Daenerys is ready to just fly her dragon in and destroy everything. She's talked out of it. Basically said, let's go to the capital. Let's surround them. There's nothing they can do. If they try to bring in food, we'll destroy them. If they come out onto the field, we'll destroy them. You know, the whole point is to win without bloodshed. Um, you they cut to a part where you see that uh, Masande is is Cersei's captive. Yeah, and then the final ten or fifteen minutes of the season of the episode is they're at the at the gates of King Landing, um, Daenerys and her whole army, and there's a standoff. Well, the two the two hands of the king. Uh, uh, I Kyburn, I think, is Cersei's hand, and obviously Tyrion is Daenerys's. They talk. Tyrion doesn't like what, basically, what is being said. So he walks past Kyburn and tries to uh, plead to the side of Cersei, you know, because she's pregnant again with uh, Jamie's baby. Although she said it was the other guy's baby. But, um, you know, let's, you don't have to die. Just give up your throne. You can still live. Your baby can live, blah, 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 blah. And obviously, Cersei is that viper that she's always been. Oh, and yeah. She walks up to Masande and takes her arm and basically says, if you have any last words, say them now. And as... Cersei backs away it, it, it feeds to Grey Worm and Daenerys and they both step up because they know what's about to happen uh, she looks at uh, the mountain and in a blurry background you see that the mountain takes off Missandei's head oh but before that happens Missandei yells you know her last word was Jakaris which is basically what she tells the dragon to breathe fire that's what it means um, her head fell off and everybody's getting pissed off and the camera zooms in on Daenerys and you can see her face is getting angrier and angrier so then the credits roll so you know what's about to happen in the next episode yeah um, that was a highlight there because when I first saw it and I think I saw this episode twice but when I first saw it I didn't think I didn't think she was going to do it I think I thought she was bluffing, but <laughs> no, she wasn't. <clears throat> Cersei don't play. You um, know, I don't. If they wouldn't have, if yeah, if she wouldn't have killed Missandei, I don't think that Daenerys would have done what she ends up doing. But no, and, and we'll go over what she ends up doing next week. Back, so but, um, you're right. This st this starts to play into one of the things that I didn't like about season eight that I wish, you know, stretched out a little bit more. If you guys have watched previous episodes, you know what I'm talking about, but um, you could definitely see it and you see which way it's going. You know what? You should be a narrator for HBO because you know you you made it sound a whole lot better You're than I remember. Brother. Uh oh, <laughs> what's going on here? Can you hear me now? Okay, there we go. There we go. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Okay, I was gonna say you should be a. a commentator for HBO because you made the episode sound a whole lot better than I remember. It was it's a great episode. It's it was a very uh you know I'm a chess player so it was very um storytelling and, and chess like maneuvers the way they're putting their pieces in for the final two episodes of the show. Very true. Okay. Before we go any further great. we don't did I'll give it a solid B. 
I, I'm still going to go B minus because I was really pumped up after the previous episode and it's not fair for me to go that low probably based off of the previous one but hey that's just the way I am I, I think that if it didn't end the way it did it would definitely have got a lower score it, it was really one of those whoa moments which you like. Yeah, it, it was a great cliffhanger, I will say that. I just think that maybe it took a little bit too long to get there, but it, looking back, I'm also saying it should have lasted a little bit longer. I don't know. You can tell it's the, the problem is with me. I mean, the episode <laughs> was like an hour and a half still, so... Yeah, the problem was like with an me. hour and 23 minutes or something. Clearly. <laughs> Hey guys, if you're watching just this a on tough YouTube, judge, that's all. I, I am. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And if you're uh, listening on a podcast feed, uh, give us that thumbs up. We appreciate all the support. Whatever platform you're on, subscribe. That way you never miss an episode. Plus, you know, we're talking to more people than ourselves. Yeah, there. Big Show, before I get to the NFL, I, I have an announcement to make. Well, I don't. Denzel Washington does. He's going to be retiring right. soon. But he is signed to play one major role. It's not his last movie, but it'll be one of his last movies, he says, before he retires. Ryan Coogler is going to make a Black Panther 3. And he has started writing it, and he's writing a part specifically for Denzel Washington. My and question what part to could you, he play? Um, I would really like to see, and this is my question to you, what would you like to see in, in that? I would like Denzel to play a bad guy. He does it so well, and he's done it so sparingly. I would yeah, like to... I mean, but what bad guy in the, in, the, in the Black Panther universe could he play? Shit, make up a new character. I don't care if it's well-written. You know that, that yeah, but they're not, MCU doesn't do that. They don't make up new characters. They use the actual universe. Um, true, they're not DC. That's where DC fucks up. <laughs> that is true. I mean, at, at the very least, it'll be a couple of years before this, you know, hits theaters. So I am curious. Uh, it's a shock that Denzel is considering retirement, and at the same time. I'm hoping that he has four or five more roles that he plays over the next couple of years. And that way, you know, we get to see, you know, more of him. He is one of the better actors in Hollywood. I think he says he's going to retire, but I don't. Actors don't normally retire. They yeah, may, they, they, they may act slow down. I mean, they might act sparingly, yeah. but. We're going to have to... How uh, bad was I last week? I'm, I'm getting ready to pull it up now because... Let's put it this way. We were we were both kind of... Uh, I know I get it. I went against the green a little bit last week. All right. Week 10. And, and you can see in the blue is where we had differences. The red is the losses. I'm going to scroll down real quick just so you can see that we both... Oh, we were tied. ...ended up 10 and 4. That's not bad. Which wasn't bad. But it was the route in which we went 10 and 4. Uh, obviously, Ravens scared us a little bit, but they came out with the win. Uh, we both wisely went with the Panthers because they were on a hot streak, one game in a row. So now they got two in a row. The Bears laid our first egg for us. Yeah, they did. The Bears are who we thought they were. They suck. We let them off the hook. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Um, head scratcher. I don't know why you went with the Broncos, but I saw really? it for half. No, no. When when you first when you first made this oh, pick, but gotcha. when I saw the game, I'm like, damn, show is about to win this week. And I should have the block field. I should have won. Yeah, I should have won it. I just see. I just Broncos played us out of the all the division games last year, even though. The Raiders beat us at home last year. Broncos played us super tough in both games. Yeah. And Sean Payton is a hell of a coach. So 
and we have the Bills this week, so I just kind of figured it would be a trap game. Good point. Uh, we have too much faith in the Falcons. Um, yeah, I did not see that one coming. I I don't understand that, but hey, it is what it is, I guess. Um, that's a divisional game too, though, so we shouldn't take it for granted. Right. Uh, oh, wow. I need to change a record here. Why is that? And look at the Buccaneers 49ers. Yeah, 49ers won. Yeah, I didn't mark your Bucks in red. Uh, yeah. So I'm nine and five. Still a winning record, but. Yeah. Anyway, that uh, the commanders, they hurt me. Oh they yeah, it even. doesn't matter. Even even though you didn't do it in red, I still have. Oh no, I have five losses. Yeah, you're right. Gotcha. Go ahead. The the commanders hurt us because uh, they couldn't get down the field against that vaunted, and I use that term laughingly, Steelers defense. Uh, I mean the Steelers nah, defense is good, but they lost by a point because they jumped off sides. Neither one that that game was a really good game. I, oh, it was a good game. It was. Um, the Vikings. I don't know why they had such a tough time with the Jaguars, but they did eat it out. Yeah, they almost shit the bed on that one. Yes, they did. Uh, Sam Darnold is rapidly becoming Sam Darnold, and we'll just leave it at that. Eagles played Little Sisters of the Poor and routed them. Um, Cardinals did what we thought the Cardinals were going to do to the Jets. The Jets, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. This is no secret. You probably disagree with me. The Jets are no better than the Raiders, period. They are not. Uh, I would venture to say the Jets are probably a little bit worse than the Raiders. I would probably agree with you on that. Uh, we'll see what the Raiders do with the Dolphins this coming week, but no. Um, the Lions, man, when they went down 23-7 to at halftime, I'm thinking to myself, well, here's another L. What they put together in the second half was some pretty good defensive football. And Jared Goff, I got to give him props. You give You give any quarterback five interceptions – He's rattled, and he's probably done for the day. Goff did hang in there and, you know, put together a few good drives. So I'm not ready I, to say, hey, they're going to the Super Bowl or anything like that, but it's well, a team that's this. learning how to win. They are the cream of the crop of the NFC. I don't think yeah. there's a team better than them in the NFC. Not overall, though. But, I still say Kansas City is the best team overall. Well, but, I wouldn't even, I mean, the record, yes, but, I mean, we're not, anyway, but st stick in on this game here. This game was a tale of two halves. In the mm -hmm. first half, the Lions sucked, and the second half, the Texans sucked. So, I mean, yeah. it pretty much, that's what it boiled down to in a field goal. Yeah, and, and C.J. Stroud has problems throwing picks. He He's, he's. I think both quarterbacks thought they were playing for the other team. Pretty much. Pretty much. I, I think that um, once CJ gets this figured out, he's going to do some damage. He really is. He's going to be a good one. We'll see. Um, the Dolphins and the Rams, that was our other different one. I, I, I should have heeded your advice because as good as I thought the Rams were, they sucked. That's what I get. Yeah, I think the Dolphins pretty much control them. I didn't really watch it last night. Okay. Before we get out of here, we're making our picks. Okay. And um, I want to start off with Thursday. Those Washington Commanders that had problems, what do they get for their uh, sorrows? You go into Philadelphia and play the Eagles. I'm going to go with Philly. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna pick Philly as well, but I expect this to be a really close game. Green Bay at at the Bears. I'm going with the Packers. 
same. Them Jacksonville Jaguars who put up a fight against Minnesota, they're going to get blasted by the Lions. I'm going with the Lions. Same. The Vikings are playing the Titans. This is tough because the way the Vikings played last week, ugh. I don't want to do it, but I'm going with the Vikings. Yeah, Vikings are a much better team. Yes, Vikings. Here's one where I'm going with my head instead of my heart. The Raiders are going to Miami to play the Dolphins. I'm going to go with the Dolphins. Same. I think the Raiders are going to play them well, but not well enough to win. Still the only good thing is that, overcome. that they've been able to plan for the Dolphins for a couple weeks. So that might help. But yeah, the fact that it's in Miami, I'm going to pick Miami. Agreed. Uh, the Rams are at the Patriots. I'm going to go with the Rams, even though they looked horrible last night. Hmm. Who 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 the who the Patriots play last week? The Patriots played. Was it the Bears? Let me look that up. Yeah, it was. It was. It was yeah. the Bears. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I'm gonna pick the Rams. Okay. All right. The Browns are at the Saints. Hmm. 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 This is tough. I'll go first this time. I'm going to go with the Saints. I think I'm going to agree with you on that. Colts are the Jets. And guess what the Jets are going to do? Lose. I'm going with the Colts. This will be our first difference. I'm going to pick the Jets to win. Ooh, J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets for you. Ravens are at the Steelers. This is going to be a good game. I'm picking Steelers. Man, you know what? I've got to agree with you because I, I, I think I think it's going to come down to one last drive, and Russell Wilson is going to outplay uh, Lamar Jackson. He won't outrush him or anything like that. He, he he's just going to make some plays when they're needed. Yeah, the, the Steelers are a scary team. Yeah. Uh Falcons at the Broncos. I am going with the Broncos. Mm -hmm. I want to pick the Falcons. Uh but I'm gonna go Broncos. Okay. Um, the Seahawks are at the 49ers. I'm going to go with the 49ers, but again, it's going to be one of those tough games. It's not going to be pretty, but the, the 49ers are going to win it. Yeah. Also Niners. That's at home for San Francisco. The uh, referees are playing the Bills. I mean, the Chiefs are playing the Bills. Um, the Bills are favored in this game. I they don't should be. know. They should I, be. You think so? Oh, man. I'm... It's in Buffalo. We haven't beat Buffalo in the regular season in like four years. They've come here and beat us. So, yes, they should be favored. Plus... I mean, they're scoring more points. Their offense is scoring more points than, than we are. So you think this is the week that Kansas City loses the game? Yeah, Buffalo's going to beat us. Okay, let me let, let, let me let me think about that one. Well, let's close it out here. Uh, the night game: Bengals at the Chargers. Uh, I'm going Bengals. Ugh. Yeah, I think I'm going to go Bengals as well because, uh, yeah, 
what's that phrase about a wounded animal with their back to the wall? Yeah, that's what the Bengals are. Monday night, the Texans are at the Cowboys. Let me tell you, the team in Texas is going to win that game. That's true. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be the uh, Houston Texans for sure. The I Cow am – go ahead. No, I'm, I'm just I, – I can't see uh, – I don't know. Dallas is in disarray. Yeah, they are. But this week, the Cowboys are going to continue to lose. Go Houston. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, um, unfinished business here. I do have to pick a game from the Chiefs and the Bills. Maybe it's the silver and black blood that I bleed, but I'm going with the Bills. That means, Big Show. I mean, let's fight. Let we only disagree on two games, right? No, we only disagreed on one game. Oh, did you pick the Jets as well? I thought no, you picked that's, the Colts. That's the game. I thought I picked the opposite of the Broncos. Did I pick the Broncos? We both got the Broncos. I mean, unless okay. unless you so, want the Falcons. So Jets and, no, that's good. Jets and the Colts. That's the that's the deciding game. For that's us. the deciding game. Jets and the Colts. So other than that, great minds think alike. Uh, you got any well, parting shots the, before we get out of here? These, this was pretty easy, I think. This, yeah, this time. Um, yeah, but you know, going back to the Chiefs Bills game, I mean, we're not going to go undefeated this year, so and we're well, due for thing. a loss. So I think you need a loss to sort of like wake you up, and you, you, the loss that you had to us last year on Christmas Day springboarded you into the playoffs and you never look back. And I think Yeah, we haven't lost since then. You need that kind of thing. Yeah, the only difference that, that that gives me pause is the Chiefs tend to play up to their or down to their opponent. So I think that they'll be It's going to be a good game, but I think the Bills will pull it out. Uh but yeah, other than that, guys, appreciate you coming in another week and, and listen to us babble about stupid shit. And uh, you know, keep coming in. We'll keep babbling about stupid shit. Love right. you guys. You go. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh don't forget to tell your loved ones you love them because tomorrow is not promised. Stay positive, stay blessed, everybody. Amen. <laughs>